you know, the tragic ending of Neil Wilson uh, when I first heard about it was very distraught. You know, the young lady was 18, you know, coming home. Like I said, they had other kids who, you know, succumbed to death um, on their way home, um, either way, through public transportation or any means, you know. But when you're a parent and you're and you're there, you're there, you're there thinking, I should see my baby, you know, at the end of the night, you know, before she come in. And then you hear something gruesome like that. She's just chilling on a platform in Oakland. Waiting for a train. There's some clown, allegedly a white supremacist, come, come up and stab her. You know, the first thought that comes to my mind is like, doesn't matter if you black, white, Asian, Hispanic. Like, what goes through your head? You know what I'm saying? Like, r r what really goes through your head? And these are things that I state to people. You know, we could say, I mean, he's Caucasian, so, you know, they're going to use the mental game. But after a fucking while, man, you know what I'm saying? People know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not crazy. So I can't tell what goes to a person's mind, especially a person who has mental issues. You know, but this young lady's 18, man. You know, 18 years on this earth, and then she's gone. You know, they have babies that live for one day, two weeks in Paris, which is understandable. You know, but to go out that way, not knowing. It was your time, you know? That's deep. And when I say deep is that a lot of things throughout society need fixing. We all can fix them. That I agree on. But as a community, we all need to work towards it. You know? When I read about when I read the article and I you know, they saying that he's not part of a white supremacy group, I'm like, eh, I don't know, no person is gonna come into a person and just stab the shit out of them. You know, that's that's the crazy part about it. You know? And the crazy part about it is that I see the media making they, the media is basically doing what the media does is to get us off the topic. You know, when it happened, you heard it for the, two, the first two days, that all of a sudden it's dying down, dying down, dying down, you know. And we already know the reason why it's dying down, because she's an African-American woman, you know. And when you're an African-American woman, they don't take you serious just like they don't take the men, you know. That's what us as a community doesn't matter if you white, black, Asian, Hispanic. If you know a right is right, you got to stand up for what's right. You know? And get justice for this little, for this um this young lady. You know? Because the dude, that got, the little kid that killed up in the Bronx, there's justice for him, right? So they need to be justice for Nia. You know, even though she's not on our side, she's on the West Coast, doesn't matter. That could that could have been one of our kids, just like Leandro could have been one of our kids. And you see the outpouring of outpouring for him. You know, man, cause the reason why I said it, cause my daughter's sixteen. You know, I got little cousins that age. You know, and we sit back here, and we probably don't put the time or effort in. Because, you know what I'm saying, it's not our responsibility. Oh, it ain't happened to me. Because that's what we all say, it don't happen to me. But sometimes we got to look at that spiritual factor. You know, you got to know when to take a stand. And when you know when to take a stand, 
a lot of these things stop happening. But you need a game plan on how to stop these things. You know? Very observant when you when you walk in the streets. Very observant when you on platforms. We need to start knowing. We need to teach our little how young ladies. You know, that's when my daughter walks with mace. You know? And I tell her straight up, I say, I don't care, you're a woman, you're a ghetto, you're a black young lady. When someone harassing you and you feel they should be harassing you, you know, mace their ass and beat the shit out of them. You know? Because the one thing is, I'm born from a black woman. I don't like to see men of any race harassing a woman. You know what I mean? I was young, I did all that shit. Not harassed, you know what I'm saying? I don't gotta harass because I'm not a, I'm a beggar, I'm a chooser. You know, only choosers harass. But I mean, that's all I, I wanted, you know, to say. Cause like I said, man, that's, that, that's, that's, it's just distraught and sad, you know, what's happening to our kids. Distraught and sad, and it's, it's not a good, a good look on our communities.